welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about 10 things not to say to parents of autistic children. Within that, I'm going to throw in a few sassy replies and reasonings why we don't like it. With that being said, if that interests you, likey, subscribey, comment, all of that good stuff. If you have any more suggestions after these 10, do let me know down in the comments. Number one, he doesn't look autistic. Hey Susan, it's alright if I call you Susan, I'm, I'm gonna call you Susan, it's fine, so, sorry, I, uh, my bad, I just hadn't realised, it's a good job you pointed it out because I didn't realise I'd left his autistic face at home, if you hadn't have said that, we'd have like never known. Number two, there's a lot of that about, there's also a lot of ignorance. Number three. Have you tried camel milk or varying other things? This diet, that diet, no, just no. I mean, where do you even find camel milk and... I have questions. Number four, my child never tells me what he's done at school either. Number five, what's his special talent? Is he like Rain Man? Films like Rain Man are not an accurate representation of autism, but hey, grab a beach ball, we'll see if we can bounce it on his nose. Number six, I can do it. It's not a choice. It's just not. You have to. Weird, right? As a parent, you don't get the choice. Number seven, he'll grow out of it. It's a lifelong condition. It is not a pair of shoes and he will not grow out of it. Number eight, my child's a fussy eater too or he'll eat when he's hungry. My son isn't just fussy. He has complete aversions to certain foods and an incredibly limited diet. This has been the same for at least six years. He's had that same lunch every day, including Christmas day, for as long as I can pretty much remember now. He has problems with taste, color, consistency, flavour, texture, everything that would go into that, the smell of it, for example. That means that when you do try to change something, even if it's just the packaging, it can create huge problems. We're not all just sat here going, oh, he's a bit fussy, so we just let him do what he wants. We have very limited options. We have to go to occupational therapy and all sorts of other things to help our children. So please don't just say they'll eat when they're hungry. They don't. My child has gone days before without eating or drinking because I've tried to convince them to try something else. Number nine. Everybody is a little bit autistic. Everyone is not a little bit autistic. By that same token, you could say everyone's a little bit Down syndrome. Everyone is a little bit Alzheimer's. Everyone is a little bit one-legged. It's just not true. <laughs> and number 10, my child has meltdowns too. No. Now please understand that when we say meltdown, we don't mean tantrum. We do understand that autistic children can have both meltdowns and tantrums, but they are not the same. A tantrum is typically because you're, you know, you've said no to something and they're not happy about it, so they're having a tantrum, throwing a wobbly, all of those good things that come with parenting. A meltdown is a reaction to a sensory overload. This could be too loud, a weird smell, too much light, too many people, all sorts of reasons go into this and they are different for each autistic child and different for each situation but please understand that a meltdown is definitely not the same as a tantrum it's just not the same a meltdown and a tantrum are not the same and you will never understand how hard it is to get a child out of a meltdown for example if your child has a tantrum and they were to be given the thing that they throwing a tantrum over, that tantrum would end. You can't change a meltdown. If a child is having a meltdown, there is nothing you can do but reassure them and be there. And it is incredibly different and incredibly difficult and we are all tired. So please, 
don't look, don't point, don't judge, you don't understand. Stop it. Hey, and do let me know if down in the comments. Let me know in the comments if there is Let me know in the comments if there is Hey, can I call you Susan? Weird fact about that. I left his face at home. Hey Susan. Hey Susan, if you have any other things that you think and number 10 my child has and number 10 my child has meltdowns too and, and uh, hi so fun fact I Guess I left his autism face at home. Crazy, right? Oh, for fuck's sake. Welcome back, and today we are going to be te No one's asking you to. No one's asking you to. Did I leave his autistic face at home again? 